How's it going everybody? It's Kevin here once again giving you another gameplay commentary. Today we're going to be talking about Halo 4, Spartan Ops, and how it missed the mark. And why this could have been such a great addition to Halo, but then they just sort of fell short. And it was just didn't bring it back in Halo 5. Well, let's just get right into the commentary here. But before we do, if you want to see more co gameplay commentaries like this, make sure to tap that like button. Let me know you want to see some more content like this. Leave a comment down below what your thoughts were on Spartan Ops, or even if you remember it being in Halo 4. If you're new to the channel, we'll stay with anything related to Halo. Make sure to tap subscribe with the bell to give you notifications every time we upload anything awesome to the channel which is going to be every time so let's just jump into the video and let's discuss halo 4 spartan ops so first of all let's start here you have loadouts you have to deal with in halo 4 now you have in this one you have multiple layout loadouts i started to jump in with just a battle rifle because i'm a classic boy like that and we're jumping into the valhalla remake right here now um the one thing i will say that i loved about spartan ops was the story that came with it and the cutscenes that were absolutely amazing, of course, created by Blur, so they were just fantastic cutscenes. And if you actually watch the story, it's actually really good. And you actually know it's one reason you learn how Cortana, or not Cortana, it's one reason how you learn how Halsey lost her arm. You get to fight to figure that out, but you don't learn out or reference to it all in Halo 5. And also, just like, it's just a really good story. You get to see some extended lore with some more characters involved with the, uh, the Halo franchise beyond Master Chief. There is no Master Chief with this at all, which I think is a really great side story to the whole thing. And the idea of Spartan Ops is fantastic, in my opinion. Because what that lets, what Spartan lets you do is like, you tell a story with the campaign, probably involving Master Chief, and if there's anything else you want to talk about, about this franchise, well, you can do it within Spartan Ops. And so you get some extended campaign like DLC storytelling, which we've never really had that before in another Halo game until this. But I thought, oh, wow, this is going to be fantastic then, having this opportunity to tell extended story in Halo. Like, yes, please, tell me more. Because Halo is one of the best stories in a FPS game probably ever, ever, or one of the best, at least, I would say. You know, you gotta say that, at least, because, you know, if your game franchise is gonna last to, you know, for how long it's lasted right now, uh, you know they're doing something, right, when it comes to the campaign storytelling, and that's one thing Halo's always been really, done a really good job of, is telling a good story. Now, obviously, with Halo 5, that was a little different, but, you know, I'm talking about that, but back on, say, on topic here is that, with Halo 4, that it lended itself with the Spartan Ops, lended itself the opportunity that you'd never seen in Halo, and I was really excited about it when I first heard about it. Oh my god, this guy's just floating right above me. Oh, you gotta die, dude. There we go. And that was just being able to tell more story within Halo. I mean, we've never had campaign DLC before, or storytelling DLC, and this was our first time we had it. And um, it was a huge opportunity, but I feel like it was let short because. The gameplay, as you can see right here, not that compelling. Like, it's really, like, I really don't find the gameplay of Spartan Ops to be that fun. Oftentimes, I actually found myself watching, just wanting to watch the cutscenes, and then just kind of, you know, it feels like you just have to kind of fight, make your way through. Oh, that was weird. Sometimes I feel like you just have to kind of just, f oh, I died, wow. But I feel like when you're playing Spartan Ops, you kind of have to just... You know, get treated with an awesome cutscene and story, and then you have to kind of deal with this like remedial kind of basic level gameplay with no really like mechanics or anything, just like kind of wave based defense on just a, a multiplayer map because we're just playing on like the Valhalla remake in here, which obviously fantastic map, don't get me wrong, but I don't know if it really lends itself to really that interesting of uh, campaign play. Because also with like Halo campaigns of you know missions or PVE elements of Halo, we always kind of had like a travel through this to get to from A to B kind of thing. Not really a whole lot when it comes to you know survival besides firefight, and this doesn't do work with firefight because it's kind of just it's so straightforward. It's just not that entertaining, and you have all these different weapon placements just kind of set up ready for you to pick up. But like, oh man, like. Like I said, like I don't really enjoy doing this. I mean, I can enjoy doing a little bit of this kind of gameplay, but when it's like this for every single mission of just jump into a mission, kill a bunch of guys, and then that's about it. 
And we're just creating that. Like right now, we're just kind of waiting for the next wave to spawn in. And it's just kind of the more basic level stuff. We don't really get treated with anything different, I feel. It's more just kind of reusing assets and making the best of something that you already had. And I feel like you know, when you're playing something like this, there's a certain disconnect as well when it comes to playing missions like this and playing like a story. Because a story really has nothing to do with these areas that you're fighting in as well. So you have that disconnect, which really kind of makes it so it's hard to kind of get uh, invested or involved in with these environments because you're like, well, this is just a reused asset from multiplayer. And it's just kind of a bummer where, like, yeah, like I said, you just feel like, I feel like there's like this disconnect between the gameplay and the story, which is what is one key element about the Halo campaigns is that like, the reason why you're fighting in this location because you need to go here to do something and doing it in a multiplayer reuse multiplayer map just doesn't really give you that experience or in the, and obviously there are a few levels in Spartan Ops that are unique to Spartan Ops itself and those are actually play out quite well they're like you know the, your typical kind of campaign style of go from A to B and then kill everything in between those were actually all right but I kind of wanted to select this one in particular because this is the one where I'm thinking of how did Spartan Ops drop the ball and I think of this mission in particular because this is just a straight up filler mission because it's like a reused assets just kind of finding wave after wave of just basic level enemies that there's not really anything new being brought to the table with each wave either it's just kind of repeating the same thing you just did but then you gotta do it again because what's the wrong you can't have just one wave of the same enemies you can do it again that's what i really would actually like to see something like spartan ops or some form of extended campaign storytelling brought to halo infinite i think that'd be a fantastic thing especially since for the 343 stated that they were looking forward to have Halo Infinite be more of a game for ser as a service kind of model rather than uh, kind of what Halo has been in the past. It's just like, and, you know, a release every few years and then you move on to the next one, which I think is probably the right move to make with, you know, this, the team size of Halo of, of 343 obviously being not that large and not having as many resources as uh, some other main li main titles out there like Call of Duty or De or Destiny because Bungie's a 900 person large company with even more like uh, hired guns for uh, studios for other elements of their game as well so you know creating games now you need a lot more people and so you need to figure out ways to be effective with what your resources are and having moving to a, a game as a service I think is the right move for Halo. So then it makes it so you don't have to constantly be releasing new games like every two years. You can release a title like every five years. And as long as you keep updating the game that's out right now with content continuously, people will keep playing it. Because I don't think right now there is like really not that much of a need to release a brand new Halo game beyond just a new campaign and better graphics. Now, obviously new maps and weapons and stuff like that, but that's more content where like it doesn't need to be a new game to give you that, sa that same enjoyable experience of a new game. Yeah, we're just kind of killing basic level enemies here, kind of over and over again. A little, little boring here. Plus like the storytelling they give you too is just like some person talking in your ear the whole time about something that you can't really keep track of because you're so distracted with what's going on in the game or trying to reload or even in the down times you're trying to you know reload your gun get more ammo so like that so you're just completely distracted so you're not even paying attention half the time when someone like sarah palmer goes like oh looks like we got them all here it looks like we need to do this thing now and i'm like what what, what was that you said and then the waypoint pops i'm like oh, okay that's where i need to go I'm trying to get this wraith here oh wow choke one choke two choke three no yes wraith has to go okay we took him out from the gunner seat can we just jump out and just punch oh god there's a bunch of elites here actually this might not be the best move to kind of jump down like this yikes again like so another example here like it's kind of creating like artificial difficulty here we're like they're really all they're doing is just throwing a lot more of the same enemy types at you and so you more you're just getting overwhelmed rather than outplayed and that's just kind of like an annoying part about this mission in particular because like uh, that's there's two types of ways of kind of, there's multiple ways where you can create difficulty within uh a game right you either have like kind of like what skyrim does of having 
you know, these one-on-one -on -one intense battles and you're kind of playing against equals. Or you can play against a bunch of like low-level characters and you kill everything in a way that they just swarm you completely. Or you can like do with a lot of games, or you just do the same thing as the last one, but you just you know make sure everyone just does like three times the amount of damage to you, and you die super fast, which does feel you know feels very cheap because they're like, well, I just died because I got instant melted rather than actually genuinely outplayed by the uh, the AI in this game. These tanks are really annoying me right now. I just like jump on this turret and just shoot you a bunch. Die, mother trucker! There we go. Oh, no, you're not. Oh, no, you're not. Mm -mm -mm. Not like this. It's not going down like this. You're gonna die! There we go. This guy's done for. He has no chance. There we go. Alright. See, we can't hit him with the grenades, but we got a good turret shot to, you know, put him back, back down to good measure. So, like, right there. I don't know what the hell they were talking about. Something firing up some kind of controls or whatever. Okay, look now. Okay, that's what they're talking about. I have to go here and probably press B on these things to make it work. And it's just, you know, it's such a basic level gameplay that the gameplay itself doesn't provide anything new that you can't get in just a regular campaign mission. And I think it was probably doing Spartan House probably their 343's way of being able to create more um, story with the excellent cutscenes and the storytelling, but didn't just kind of fill it up with just a bunch of this, really. Okay, so we have a portal we have to go through here, so we'll see where this takes us. Oh! Apparently that was the end of the mission right there. <laughs> like that's that was it. That was the whole thing right there. Like that was not interesting at all to play. It was 100% filler, not that interesting. Just the same enemy types you fight over a million times, but then you just kind of do it in wave form on a multiplayer map like not that much fun. But hopefully you can see what I'm talking about here. Obviously that's a very specific example of what I just showed you guys with Spartan Ops, but it's a, this is very common thing with Spartan Ops or these kind of missions and it's something like I'd rather just skip completely and just watch a really good cutscene rather than play that over again. We'll say if something like Spartan Ops would return, how would I improve it? One, I'd definitely give unique environments to fight in. Something unique and different. There are a few that are in Spartan Ops and that's really great but they get filled up by a lot of multiplayer maps. There's some basic levels that just aren't really that interesting to fight in. There's one that's the one of the first ones is like a just a like canyon that's open field basically. It's like not that interesting there's not really any cover or anything and it's just very basic level kind of uh level design another one they call you crimson i don't know what that is now i think you're technically one of the members of crimson team that's supposed to kind of go help palsy but the thing is that uh, your character is not in the cutscenes at all so there's that disconnect as well when it comes to making that you know investment of the player want to you know kill all these things and progress forward because they want to see what happens next they're playing as the character in the story right so they have a little bit of investment with them and you don't get that with spartan ops at all also another point is playing in relevant locations that are to the story i feel like again like they're saying there's this weird disconnect with a lot of the missions in spartan ops so that uh, you don't really feel like you're fighting towards something or trying to uh be part of the story you're just like fighting off in these random locations that apparently help out things i can't really know because all the story is being told through audio logs while you're playing the game so you're gonna miss all the details you'd want to capture with that though don't get me wrong though i would love to see something like this return in infinite i think extended campaign lore storytelling is fantastic and i would love to see something like that happen and i think with a game for a service like infinite it's going to be i think that could facilitate something like this where you can have continuous story dlc drops coming for the game to help expand the experience rather than being only able to tell one story like every three or four years and you're stuck with it until the next game comes out where this way they can continuously keep adding more to the story which i think is a great thing so leave in the comment section down below guys what you thought about spartan ups where they could definitely improve i do read all the comments and try to reply to most of them as well if you enjoyed this kind of commentary video please make sure to tap that like button as it greatly helps out the channel get some more notoriety helps more people to kind of see what you know spartan ups kind of how they drop the ball basically and if you're new to the channel stay up to date with anything halo related make sure to tap subscribe with the bell keep you notified with anything on the channel okay if you missed any content from me over here check out the videos and i'll catch you all in the next one peace out